Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Let's talk today about Hike Vision NVR, how you can reset it to factory default, okay? So as you can see, I have the NVR, it's already working. It's connected via HDMI cable. I have the LAN cable connected to the router. So basically the NVR is working and I have cameras working here. As you can see, more than one camera. If I come here to multi-screen and show you two by two, I have different cameras working here, okay? And I'm going to reset this and if you're at the factory default, okay, back to main screen here, I just right click, come to the main menu, and here I just draw my pattern to log into the NVR and come to maintenance. Every time you need to do something like that, you come to the maintenance menu. And that's the case for the reset. So I come here to default, and here I have this option to factory default the NVR, okay? And that, that's going to restore all the parameters to default settings. So I click here. I confirm with yes. And wait for the NVR to restore to factory default. And in this case, it's not going to lose data, which means all the recordings that I have on the hard drive will still be there, right? So don't worry about losing data here. It's just a question of resetting the NVR itself the configuration and all this stuff, right? So the system is going to reboot. When it comes back, we're going to continue with the setup. Okay, as you can see, the NVR is re rebooting, okay? It shows this screen, then goes to black, come back to, to some screen showing some information. So it's basically starting up, okay? And uh, after that starts asking you for information. So you need to input all the information there to set up the NVR again. Here we go. Now I have mouse control. As you can see, I have a dongle connected to this NVR on the USB port, and then I can control the mouse. It's a wireless connection. Okay, you can also use mouse with cable. And here, the first thing you have to do is create a new password. So I will create mine. So here you go. I enter a password. I repeat the password here to confirm. And also this IP camera activation password. Every time the NVR is, tr uh, is trying to use a password to the camera, it's going to use this one, okay? So I hit OK. And set the device is activated. Properly keep your password, export GID file. That's if you want to export the file to reset the password, okay? I'm not going to do that later, but you can insert a pen drive here in the NVR if you want to and save this file. Good for the reset. It's not my case here. Now I need to draw an uh, unlock pattern, right? So let me just draw this one. It's just an example. I usually don't use this one. And here you go. The language, that'll be English. Click apply. Start wizard when the device starts. It's not my case. I don't want to. Click next. Here you need to select the time. It's pretty important because you need to have your NVR recording correctly. So I need to select time here and just look for mine. Here we go, US. Next. And here's the information for the network. In this case, this is the default IP address of the NVR, 192.0.0.64, okay? but you can click here to enable DHCP. What happens here is um, the NVR is going to, ask, to the uh, ask the router for an IP, and the router is going to give an IP to the NVR. So I will use this option, DHCP. Click Next. Hi, Connect. I'm not going to use now. I can use it later. I just click Next. Here are the ports that the NVR is using. I'm not going to change anything here. Just click Next and the capacity of the hard drive. I'm not going to format the hard drive or something because I already have a uh, video there. So just click next. Okay, and here the NVR can activate cameras. See, it's found the camera, it's active, another one's active because the cameras are connected here, not directly to the NVR. As you can see, there is no camera connected here, but they're connected to my router and the NVR is connected to this port here to the router uh, as well. So basically the camera is connected to the router and the NVR is also connected to the same router. So you can find them here, you can find the camera here, right? So I just hit next. Okay. And it's done. 
Okay, so then if there is a reset, if fresh is good to go, you just right click here, you have all the menus, and then you can start adding cameras here to your NVR, all right? So it's basically working and you're starting fresh, okay? So that's all for today. If you like this video, please subscribe to this channel, leave your thumbs up and your comments, and I see you in the next one.